Hi, Perry here. I'm joined with Paul Laver, our Bournemouth area property specialist. We're at Power HQ and we're talking through our 11 steps to sell your property for a premium price. We're now at step number six. That's right, yes, step number six. six. Um, this one's really important, okay? So it's about monitor, monitoring and improving the effectiveness of the property marketing. So um, little a little known fact, and many home, not many homeowners know this, is we have access to the back end of Rightmove, which shows the performance of the properties we're advertising. You know, if it's performing well, if it's performing bad, what is good and bad. So we've we've measured this a lot, and unless your property is receiving between kind of six and ten percent as a click through rate, now what the click through rate does um, is, sorry, is let's say your property appears in a hundred property searches and six of those click through and see the full details of your house that's a six percent click through rate so we know unless it's between six and ten percent you're very unlikely i'm not saying it's impossible very unlikely to get the level of viewing you need to get the best price um whereas if it's sub if it's sub six percent you know five four three percent then something needs to change and it's not always the price a lot of people just assume more oh, we've got to reduce the price and I regularly advise people that you know not to assess the price until the price uh, until the promotion and the presentation has been assessed first. Now, Paul, what what can we um, what can we do to improve the click through rate before we start looking at maybe changing the price? One of the things we'd be looking at it would be refreshing the pictures. So it would be changing maybe the front image, which would be the house, maybe switching that to your kitchen if you've got a nice big open plan kitchen. So when someone is flicking through right move, if it's the kitchen that they're particularly interested in now because they've got a large family, that's going to entice them to click onto the viewings, which now hopefully they're going to make, make a call, come through to us mm. and get to see the property. The second thing we can do maybe is change the description to make it slightly more punchy. So it's just got the top six listings or those top six uh, top feature listings from the property and from there hopefully again they click on and we get them to see your property i think the the um the crazy thing with those is is the the summary description as paul mentioned is really important because it's it's there you've got like a, a few seconds to to attract someone to click through to see the full details of your house and i'm still seeing things like um, so and so estate agents are delighted to present to the market. It's beautifully presented. They waste the, the first sentence on stuff that's totally not to do with the property. So you need to go really quite punchy and you know a thousand square foot refitted kitchen, double garage to really entice them in. The picture, again, time and time again, people ring us and say, "Look, my house isn't selling. Can you help?" And I say to them, "Look, how regular has the lead image been been rotated?" They're like, "Well." been in the market for five months and, and it's had the same picture and I'm like well, that's the first thing your agent needs to do um, is rotate the picture because it's something so stupid but um, after four to six weeks maximum you're starting to stagnate people are putting property searches in and they're seeing that same property the same property, same property if you hadn't switched it to an image from the back of your garden looking from the bottom of your garden looking back at your house um, that's a different angle it's a different oh I've never noticed that before because the people haven't got to picture number 17 in your in your property pictures because they're not even clicking through into it. So it's really important to monitor and improve, make changes. If the click through rate is is 6% plus, leave it. You know, don't 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 risk breaking it because that should be getting you a good number of viewings and property inquiries each week. Um, so it's it's all about looking at the back end data, make tweaks where needed so you get the best possible outcome. That's what it's all about. Anything else we're pulling that? No, that's it, perfect. Cover that Absolutely. nice and quick. Mm. On to set number seven, which is all about the inquiries. All, all this, steps number one to six have been pointless if one, there are no inquiries, and two, they've been ignored. So we'll see you in the next video.